Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here. Welcome to another episode of the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club. Today we are celebrating picanha. Uh, you know, this is one of my favorite cuts. I didn't know about it until a couple of years ago. Uh, it's also known as top sirloin cap, or when you cut into steaks, it can be a cool lot. Um, you can roast this whole, but I've got a fun idea for us today. Let's get into it. So like I said, this is just a really uh, fun and versatile steak, and I'm so glad that the butcher's market has it. There's so many places I go in the world, and they don't. Um, this is a huge, huge cut in Brazil. The Brazilians absolutely love it. And look at that great fat cap on there, okay? So we're gonna start this recipe out. Even though we're gonna cut this into strips and skewer it, I wanna go ahead while I've got this whole piece put together and I'm gonna score that fat cap. I'm not getting rid of it because that is a beautiful thing. A lot of flavor there. Now while I've got it all together and look at that kind of grid formation we've sliced, I'm gonna take some of the house seasoning and we're gonna massage it into that fat cap. You can even hold it like that. Really get in there. All right, let's flip it over and take a look at beautiful fat striations. Uh, and we can tell the way the grain is running how we want to cut these steaks. So uh, we're going north to south here. Let's cut it into steaks. Again, you can treat this as a whole roast. But I want that Brazilian skewered look. Oh, it's so cool. And then even with that triangle piece on the end there, you still get it, okay? Fat cap on the outside. We're gonna take our skewer here and run right through. Let's do that with this one. We're gonna come right through that fat cap. These look great, and now that we've cut into it, look at the marbling on that. It just, just makes you want to say, picanha. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna to want to bank all of the charcoal to one side of your grill. We don't want all the dripping fat dropping down and causing a lot of flip -ups. All right, so uh, we've got our Kamado Joe Jr. fired up, and you want a live flame with this, I feel like. So if you if you can get outside and cook this, do it. Uh, you can absolutely do this uh, on the range top and sear it if you like in a cast iron pan. But I'm gonna give a little bit more seasoning to these guys, not much. And we're gonna start out by rendering that beautiful fat cap. And look at how clean that looks. We're just gonna start by putting it down, and this is an open flame sitting at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we've got that fat cap rendered out, let's go ahead and turn it on its side. Oh yeah. Once you've got an even sear on all sides, we're gonna flip it up so the fat cap is on top and it's gonna render down. We're gonna close that lid or kick it into the oven if you're doing it inside and let the self basting occur. That beautiful fat cap with all those channels that we created by scoring is gonna to begin to render down and baste with the seasoning and the fat content. This is the beauty of Acanya. We're gonna leave the dome shut or finish roasting in the oven for about seven minutes. Still feeling like we've got about another five minutes. We want to go to that internal temperature of 125 before we pull and let rest and then slice. Looking good, but five more minutes. Let's take a look. Oh man, that is absolutely stunning. And just to make sure, let's take an internal temperature and see where we are. I'm gonna go in the thickest part of the meat, watching out not to hit my uh, my metal spit rod in there. I think we're there, team. We're getting a good reading of about 115. The smaller one's obviously gonna cook a little quicker. So let's take them off and rest. 
But before we do, I mean, just look at the caramelization there. Still sizzling in my hand here under that fat cap. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. This is just endemic of Brazilian style beef decadence and showmanship. A lot of fun here. And as if this wasn't simple enough and delicious enough, uh, the butcher's market has hooked us up with a little chimichurri compound butter. Uh, so I like to, while the steak is resting, and these babies do need to rest for about five minutes or so, I'm just gonna paint some of that, not on the fat cap, but just on the, the sides of the meat. You know, if we wanted to, we could, we could throw it back on the flame for just a quick second and sear that into the exterior crust, or we can just have it on here gentle as a glaze. You kind of want to, don't you? I kind of do. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do it with one, yeah? We're here, we're doing it. Um, so let's do it, let's do it with the one that we're gonna uh, keep on the, on the sword skewer. And just, just a little bit, you know. Oh wow, the aroma. You getting it? And that's that. Chimmy Cherry Compound Butter. Great idea, team. Five minutes for resting. The most difficult part about anything you're gonna get from the butcher's market letting it rest before you slice into it and take a bite. Uh, but it is an important part of the process. Let it rest. <laughs> okay, we gotta let it rest. <laughs> so we've let it rest. Finally, the time is here. Um, let's go ahead and, like I was saying, we're gonna come table side, right on the plate, and we're gonna slice. Getting some of that fat cap just thin to win. Look at that. And as the oxygen begins to hit that meat, it's going to rouge up. You can almost see it happen in front of your eyes. It's going to get pinker and pinker. So I was up at the butcher market the other day and I found this broccoli salad. And you know, I like pairing something with a little textural contrast, a little color contrast. There's some, there's some raisins in here, some bacon in here. Stunning, like we talked about it, it's rouged out a little bit. Mm-hmm. So beefy. I can't say enough good things about uh, the picanha. And if you haven't tried it, go for it. If you've ever tried it this way, go for it. The Butcher's Market just makes it so simple with the Steak of the Month Club to try new things and keep dinner interesting. Uh, folks, look forward to seeing you next month for another exciting episode of Steak of the Month Club. Cheers.